the pandemic has had uh, other health effects that, uh, that, that we're still coming to terms with, and quite frankly, they're gonna be with us for a long time. Talking about mental wellness, and what does that mean for our, uh, for our first responders? What does that mean for our children? What does that mean for our educators? What does that mean just for, for anyone who just needs to find help? How do they do that simplistically? And so we're looking forward to coming into the next legislative um, session with all of these things in mind, telemedicine, telehealth, uh, for our mental health, and to make sure that we can bring our children into some more of a stable and permanent state. I think it's safe to say that we're going to be putting this into high gear. But this really needs to be a robust part of the conversation. A critical aspect of that, oftentimes athletics, it provides this bridge where a lot of kids who don't have the things at home, like a parent or even a, a model that they need. And one of the things I, I'm glad the governor teed it up on the mental health side, one of the things we're very excited about, uh, and I'm happy to be able to say that throughout the pandemic, our systems of care, our community-based systems of care, be it child welfare, be it mental health, substance abuse, et cetera, we have not ha lost the ability to help somebody that needed uh, assistance in each community. We can continue to stay ahead of this. Let folks know 211 is available anywhere across our state in our great country. And if you need additional services and supports, we can provide that thanks to teletherapy and other really innovative ways of making those connections happen. And the effects that we've seen uh, over the last many months uh, in, in dealing with the pandemic, um, you know, have been significant. And, um, and yes, they are more indirect but they're very real nonetheless, and they're problems that deserve our attention.